Hey, it's Dusty Martin with Platinum Living Realty. Today I'm going to do something a little different and I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of adjustable rate mortgages and 2-1 buy downs. Hit the subscribe button, grab a drink, buckle up. I'm not a lender, but I'm going to give you my two cents and some questions that you should be asking your lender going forward as we start to see interest rates tick up. So buckle up, let's go. All right, so you're probably starting to see headlines or people talk about adjustable rate mortgages again, which makes a lot of people recoil because so many people got burned back in 2005, six, seven, eight, nine, right? And then also you're starting to see something that we haven't seen in our market in a while, and that is a rate buy down. Now, as we go back into a more normal, stable market, something that we are more accustomed to, where both the buyer and the seller have to give a little bit to make things work, you're going to start to hear these terms more. I'm not a lender. These are just things that I want you to sit down and talk with your lender about. I'm going to give you what I think about them and some things to think about. But then I really, really encourage you to reach out to a lender that you know, like, and trust or reach out to me. I've got a list of them that I love working with. They are all great lenders. You just pick the one that's right for you. So the first one is the one that everybody knows about and probably has a bad taste in their mouth about, and that's an adjustable rate mortgage. That means that say you lock in for easy numbers at 7% right now on your home. Well, rates could go up again and historically when these have been a thing they kind of do but they also might go down and as that fluctuates from month to month year to year that rate will also fluctuate people like this as a good short-term option to get them into a home that um, they would otherwise love but maybe they don't love the rate right now. And the common saying you'll hear a lot of agents saying right now is marry the house, but date the rate, thinking that as things change, you'll just refinance when interest rates come down. The problem with that is, is nobody gave us a crystal ball when we got our real estate license. And if somebody got one, I'm really kind of pissed because I didn't. And to be honest, you really don't know if they will go up or down. Traditionally in a recession, interest rates go down. When we had the recession in 2020 because of all the um, the pandy lockdown, I don't wanna say the R-O-N-A word. When you saw everything's come to a screeching halt economically, we basically dropped the Fed rate almost to zero and that allowed lenders and banks to just free up a ton of cash. And yeah, it kept our economy going. However, at some point you've got to stop because that's not normal and it can lead to inflation, which is what we're seeing now. Not only do we now have roughly a 5 million home shortage across the nation because we just don't have enough homes to house people. And because of that, that drives up the price. And then when interest rates go lower, people can afford more. So then they can spend more and it, kind of snowballed like it did the last two years, right? So the thing is what with an adjustable rate mortgage, you're basically hedging your bet that you think it will go down, or at least in the future, it'll go down enough to where you can refinance and get a better rate that's more permanent and that doesn't adjust. What happened in the in the crash before is people got all these adjustable rate mortgages without even really understanding how they work. And yeah, you could afford that house today, but not tomorrow. So when interest rates went up, you know, in, in order to try to curb the spending that was happening, a lot of people got stuck holding the bill for things that they could not afford. And so personally, I don't like things that aren't predictable. I like my life to be predictable. The next thing I'm, we're going to talk about is what's called a rate buy down. The, the popular thing right now is called a two one buy down or a one zero buy down. So let's say you find a home for seven hundred thousand dollars, but you need a rate buy down. You don't like the rate that say it's at seven seven percent for you know five or ten thousand dollars, whatever you negotiate. The seller has to pay it concessions towards the buyer's closing costs. The seller has to pay for it. So you say you make it 705. You take that $5,000 and you buy down the rate and 
in some terms, say you can, in a 2-1 buy down, that means the first year, the interest rate will be two points lower than what it was. So if it's a 2-1 buy down and interest rates are 7%, that would drop your interest rate for the first year to 5%. The year after that, remember I said it's a 2-1, the year after that, it would drop it to 6%. And then the third year, you'd be right back to 7% hoping that you could refinance by then, Hope, hoping that interest rates had fallen again, like they normally do, but you're not guaranteed that. What I like about a 2-1 buy down or a 1-0 buy down, a 1-0 buy down would be the same scenario, but instead of for two years, the first year it would be you buy down 1%, and then the second year you'd be right back to whatever the rate was you locked in at. Right. So you would buy down from seven to six and then go right back to seven. What I like about these these um, loans is because they are predictable and you know that your your payment will never be more than that seven percent interest rate. So my theory is go get pre-qualified for that higher rate, get a buy down and then know that in two years, you're going to be right back to where you were, but then use that two years to pay more as if you were still paying on that 7%, because every extra bit that you pay those few hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars every month, depending on the difference in your payment, use that because anything extra you pay on your mortgage is going to chip away at the principal. And we know with loans, most of the interest is lobbed on up front and it kind of, it, it becomes a smaller piece of the pie the longer you pay on that. So if you can chip away at your principal by paying a couple hundred dollars extra every month for two years, do that because 7% on $600,000 is a lot less money over time than 7% on $700,000 over time. Catch what I'm saying? But the nice thing about that is that they are predictable. You know what your interest rate will be and you will know in advance if you can afford it. For that reason, that's my pick and that's the one I'd rather see people be making if if they had the option, but it may not be the right pick for you. So you really need to reach out to your lenders, get educated, have them look at all your documents and see if that's something that makes sense for you and see if that's something that that um, that works because it's not going to work for everybody. It may not be right for everybody. And who knows? Some of you might like to gamble more than I do in that adjustable rate mortgage might might just tickle your fancy. If you have any questions or if you need a good list of lenders, go ahead and give me a call at 480-717-9405 or visit my website at dustymartinrealtor.com.